like what God is saying, you know, but I have to just flow. Amen, amen. Entry notice on. What oh, us yeah, as... Oh, Lord, there goes the rain. Come, taking these things. What us as children don't get and understand, I... I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that this rain will hold up. Rain, I speak to the element. And I command this rain to hold up until I finish service this evening in Jesus' name. Come carry them in still. Whatever, whatever, the thunder can roll, but whatever lightning, whatever rain is coming, I command it to hold up in Jesus' name. I command it even to shift, to shift to another place so that I can able to flow in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, people of God, this is no joke. Everything. This is no joke thing, people of God. If we, my God Almighty, as children of God, don't wise up, we're going to just walk around as empty barrel. Come on, people, making noise and mean nothing. Making noise. Come on, people. Some of you, my God Almighty, have a strong voice when you shout hallelujah. My God Almighty, there should, there should be a gashing. Other people are wrong, you must tremble. Hallelujah, yes, God. Yeah. Yes, Lord. You, see, you, see, you see what some of you don't get, you know, somebody is watching you. I'm not talking God now. Somebody is watching you, watching your life. And waiting on your life to come up so that they can able to, to come and join in. Let me come and taste and see what they are getting because, oh God, they are blooming. What are you using to, 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 to put at your flowers? Your flowers look real nice. Oh Lord, you have to introduce me to the ingredients. Somebody need to look at you as a flowers and say you are blooming. Come on, people. Amen. Yes. Yes. Come on, people. People must see you on your job. Say, my God, something about you. Oh, Lord, you have such a sweet spirit. Come on, people. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. But how can you get it? You have to, my God Almighty, get yourself up there in God. In God. Entry notice off. You have to get yourself in God. Too much Entry deadness. Entry notice on. Too much deadness, people of God. It won't work. Come on, t t you all tell yourself that deadness won't work. Deadness will not work in Jesus' name. Deadness will not work in my life. Deadness will not work in my life in Jesus' name. I tell God, you know, I say, God, if I can live for you and be on fire, I don't want to even live. I don't want to live. Where I see myself here coming from out in the world. And when I see I used to my God Almighty being around so many women and men in the entertainment thing in Jamaica. You all don't get it yet. When it is time for stage show, people of God, it's always a competition thing. I want if you all hear me. And everybody getting their songs together. They can it. Everybody get in their songs together, they get in their this together, they get in their that together, they get in so many things together, people of God. And my God Almighty, you're planning what you're going to wear, you want to look the most sexiest, the more this, the most that, who going to come off naked, who going to come this out of door, that out, name it people of God and everybody into competition. And myself, I always count myself least amongst the rest because I'm under a siege of witchcraft. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. And I never even know it. But I know that there's a lot of blockage with me. Blockage and there's always a fight. There's always my God Almighty a struggle when I'm to get my clothes and get things together. But I'm pushing. I remember my God Almighty, you saw this lady that owned my God Almighty this... Um, this place where we used to sit out there and get the get um stage show and name it and one of you. What is that? 
I hope it's not burp somebody just burp in the phone. Please, don't do that. And right there, my God Almighty, we, you know, we, everybody dear, and I, I, I would, I have to depend on the lady for when she take out her wig, I take it, wash it, and put it in my ear. Because, you know, everybody trying to look good and trying to this and trying to that. And I'm telling you, people of God, when, when, you, have, when you have rehearsal, it's, it's something, it's, it's like stage show going on. Because everybody's singing and this one, when finish this one, boy, you are got to, you, you, you're the one that's going to bring down the stage, you know. You're, and this one telling that one and that one telling that one and name it and all kind of excitement. And everybody pushing out to do their best. Stage show time, my God Almighty, that's the time you say who is going to do their best. And, te and I tell you something, people of God, I see myself do some challenge with artists that have big name. I remember go to a stage show one time and I was late and I'm on that show and I said, mm -mm, that money not going past me. Even if them boo me. But you know, they would boo you if you don't sing good. And I take that challenge and I go on that show that night right in the midst of the hardcore DJs, them and all that. I have no business being in the midst of them. But I rise up to tell you people of God when I stand on that stage show, my God Almighty, that night some gunshot go up in the ear. I want to hear what I'm saying. Listen to me, I'm speaking something just for you all to get the reality of what I'm talking about, you know. I'm talking about how I used to push out for the dirty Satan. Yeah. Want to be the best for Satan. This is not about be the best for, 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 for even God, you know. This is not about being the best for God. This is not a competition. But this is a situation where I'm saying I'm going losing myself to find it, Lord, in him. And my God Almighty for him, for his Holy Spirit where I tap into to help me to get prepared to be used by him anytime. Amen. I want you all hear what I'm saying. To be used by the Lord Jesus Christ, Rebecca Toria Bashanda. I want to hear what I'm saying, people. Want to be used by Him. Come on, people. Some of you, some of, some of, some of you, you know, my God Almighty, have something inside of you that is pulling you and triggering you to do. But fear, that stinking fear. Telling you that you cannot do it and you, and you know because of this you can do it and because of that. You can do all things through Christ Jesus if you allow him to strengthen it, you. Amen. Amen. You can do it. Let me hear what I'm saying. I said you can do it. Amen. God want to use some of you, my God Almighty, in a mighty, powerful way. But fear, and what, what, one of the fear, one of the fear that is grit, gripping God people, you know what it is? One of the fear that is gripping God's people is, Oh, if I, if I give in myself to God, I'm not going to be able to have. Hey! Come on, people. If I give in myself to God, I'm not going to be able to have. I can't do. I can't live without doing this. I can't live without doing that. I some of so you have some people. You, listen to me, the God that I serve. Why you think some people end up lost their job and it's not witchcraft cause it? Many times it's God do it. I want to hear what I'm saying. I'm on. There are 18 attendees in this conference. The host has joined the conference. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm back. So I'm telling you, people of God, it happened, my God Almighty, hallelujah, many times that God wanted to use somebody, but because of fear, fear, listen to me, that spirit fear will even cause you not to open your mouth to lift him up, you know. That's how it is. That's true. Yeah. That spirit of fear, uh, I'm shy. I break it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Yeah. Right yeah. now I come against that, sp that spirit. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. 
when it's finished, you go find I break it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ right now. I break that spirit of fear. You know how many prayers I have on this YouTube thing about fear. You all need to search for it. Some of you need to search for it. And some of you need to search for it and pray it so that it can knock things out of your spirit and take things off your life. Entry notice on. God said he has not given a spirit of fear but love, power, and a sound mind. Are you there? Yes. And if you know that my God Almighty you have a sound mind, you have nothing to fear. I want to hear what I'm saying, people. God. You have nothing God. to fear. Whenever you see my God Almighty, you ask the Lord God Almighty for something. And the Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, ready to give it. Know that whatever you used to do all the time will not remain the same. There will be a change. Different change will come in. I want to hear what I'm saying, people. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No rain falling in Jesus' name. Hold up and go back in Jesus' name. I want of you all hear what I'm saying, people of God. I'm saying, my God Almighty, it is for us as the children of the Most High God to push out for Jesus Christ. I want of you hear what I'm saying. Yeah. I want of you all hear what I'm saying, people. Yeah. It is for us to push out. It is for us to push out people of God. Yeah. Stop in the name of Jesus Christ, rain. You need to stop. You need to go up in the name of Jesus Christ. No falling of rain. In Jesus' name. This is no joke thing, people of God. I am so serious, my God Almighty, telling you all this. You have to have a made up mind. I want to hear what I'm saying. You have to make up your mind and push for whatever God is giving to you. You can't let because of other things. And you know, God, God is testing many of your faith. You know, I wonder if you all realize what is going on. I wonder if you all realize that many of your faith has been tested by God. Not by the devil, no. The devil tempt and God tests. I want to hear what I'm saying, people. The devil will tempt you, but God will test you. And whenever, whenever you are tempted, you're tempted in your own loss. But when there's a test, you know that it is God because he will, people of God, you will know it is God because what? It will be such a fight and you will not give up. Yes. Yes. You know it's a fight and you will not give up. When God is, is, is giving a test. And many is getting tests, my God Almighty, but what? Many don't want to take the test to pass it. Fear. I want to hear what I'm saying. Fear is telling you, my God Almighty, that you cannot do it. Fear is telling you, no, stop. I want to hear what I'm saying. Amen. It's true, my God. Fear. Many times, my God Almighty, let me tell you something. Even though... You're at your workplace and you see things happen at your workplace. You get in a fight on the job and you're there pushing, pushing and you decided that only God can take you off that job and whoever is fighting and coming up against you. I wonder if you know that my God Almighty, 
there comes a time when whoever is fighting you have to join you. You are any one of you ever experienced that? That is so true. Yeah. The one that is fighting you have to join you. Why? Because your purpose in your heart to please your God. I want to hear what I'm saying. Your purpose in your heart to please your God and you're not backing down because you know the God that you serve. And the scripture that said, my God Almighty, there is more in me than in them. What noise is that? Come on, people. The scripture said there is more in you than in them. More with you than with them. Come on, people. Amen. When you see these things going on, it is a test. If you are in the midst of people on your job and they're fighting you and they fight you and fight you until you have to leave, that show that you don't pass that test. True. true. Hey. So true. But if you hold on, my God Almighty, and, and, and said no, is you say what comes, what may. God is in the midst and I'm not giving up. You don't you you don't leave from off it. That's right. You, you, you decided, my God Almighty, that look, get this scripture, find it for me. If, 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 if they if, get this scripture to, to know that, my God Almighty, there is more with you than with them. Yes. And there is a saying that said, if they cannot, my God Almighty, fight you, they have to join you. Yes, yes. All of a sudden, you see, they start to laugh with you and say, boy, they even come confess and say, boy, you know many, you know many times I tried for you to leave this job and you're still here. Really and truly, God is with you. <laughs> I want to be all hear what I'm saying, people. Yes, I'm on. You said, really and truly, God is with you. Now, if you know that God is with you, let him feel proud of you. I'll go with 2 Kings. 2 Kings 6.16. Read it. It says, let me get the King James Version. And he answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. You hear that? You hear that, people? Yes. Amen. And if you really know that God is with you, what are you worrying about? Why are you keeping back and holding back on God? Glory. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Don't you see that he's bigger than them? And what they are doing is bigger than it? Yes. So it is for you to what? Push. Yes. Push. Oh. Don't give up on God because he's not giving up on you. One of you all hear what I'm saying, people? Yes. It is not for none of us to give up on God because God is not giving us up on us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He's not giving up on us, people. This is a month for that God is going to fight for his children more than anything you can ever imagine or think. One of you hear what I'm saying? Thank you, Lord. I receive it, God. Mm. Some of you don't get it yet when I speak. You know, I said God is going to fight for you more than you can ever imagine or think. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank That's you, what God. I'm trying to show you, people of God. He's going to fight for you. So you cannot, my God Almighty, give up on him. Amen, Jesus. Thank you, Cannot give up on him. You have to push. Amen. You have to push. Thank you, Jesus. Have to push. Thank you, God. You understand what I'm saying to you? Amen. 
You have to push people of God. God, yes, God. Don't let other things, my God Almighty, cause you not to worship and praise God. You can't afford that, people of God. You cannot afford that. I want to hear what I'm saying. You have to understand, people of God, you can't afford to let these things happen. God. That wicked old dragon, Satan. Mm. God. You have to understand, people of God, that wicked dragon, Satan, is very cunning. I want to hear what I'm saying. And we have to yeah. get to a place where we don't support him in nothing that he's doing. Do not support him. Don't support the devil in nothing that he's doing. Because all he wants to do is to just have you to gaze away from God. He wants you to look away like Peter. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. You notice, you notice two of the biggest things um, Peter end up do where Jesus is concerned. Number one, he gaze away from Jesus and number two, he deny him. Look at that. Like but still yet, he learned from his mistake. The last thing he did was deny Jesus. But in the midst of everything, he remember. That if it wasn't for Jesus, he would not get thus far. And these are the things we need to look on. Amen. Look into our life and see. If it wasn't for him, we would not get this far. Where would I be without him? Amen. This is what we are to look into. We gaze away from him, we deny him. You know, or we gaze away from God. When we are to pray, mm -mm, too busy doing other things. When we are to worship, when we are to this, when we are to that, we gaze away from him. Or do we deny him? When he tell us, my God Almighty, that he, there's something for us to do to bring glory for him and we don't push to do it. My God. One of you all hear it. You deny him right there because you're not pushing towards the, the mark. Come on, people. You're not pushing towards the mark. You know? You're not pushing towards that goal that you know you're supposed to, my God Almighty, reach for him. You see, people of God, there is so much in store for you and I. But guess what? You cannot be like the horse that they take to the water and he don't want to drink it. You cannot. That's true. That's true. That's true. You cannot be like that horse. Don't be like the man that lay at the poolside and my God Almighty. Every time he's there, somebody come and step before him. Oh, many my God Almighty people, you're all going to have stepped before you all. From my God, you're serving God until today. Day. Some of you serving God donkey years and still at the same place. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, people. You don't need nobody. Jesus already there, you know. All you have to do is just stretch your hand like Peter and say, Lord, bid me to come. Come on, people. Lord, bid me to come. When Peter, Peter stretched his hands, the Lord stretched forth his hands and pulled Peter out of his sinking. Pull him out of when he was sinking. Come on, people. The song, the song, listen to me. The songwriter said, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. But the master, I don't remember that song. He stretched forth his mighty hands, people of God. 
and pull us out of it. The same hand that stretch is still stretching. Yeah. All we have to do is stop being disobedient and, 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 and let go from it. Like these little baby nowadays, when they catch certain age, you want to see them in the, in, have on their pampas and wearing tight pants. I love it. <laughs> Acting like they grow. You ever see those little baby all their hands up, they're flashing you off and they want to walk by themselves and they look a tongue staggering, staggering walk. Come on, people. Sometimes that's all we are with Jesus. You think it's a joke? I want to all hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Some of us are like that with him. Some of us are like that with him. We want, we, we, we know we cannot walk alone by ourselves, but we are doing it by ourselves. Why? Because of many distractions. Can you imagine? Because of many things that are distracting us from him. Come on, people. This is no joke thing. Let us get serious. Let us get serious, people of God. We are living in a perilous time. Yeah. This is no joke thing. Yeah, you, Jesus. Some years ago, my God Almighty, things was not like the way it is today. Every day, there is such a tension in the hurt here today. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's such a tension that my God Almighty, many people, when they leave their house, they are saying, God, I, I, help me to come back home. You don't know if you're going to... You don't know if you're going to get back in. Because people don't have no fear for God. People denounce God. They have people they denounce Him completely. They said there is no God and He cannot do nothing. And because some my listen to me, because you have some people they live my God Almighty and they cease they what they call it they see they they there's the waterfront house and my God Almighty they don't see the water come in and wash them away. They don't see things happen to them. They said nothing not gonna do us. We're okay. You don't see we're living here all these years and all is well. And what they are saying, which God, which God can do it? No God can do it. No, can you imagine the same God that created you? You're telling that you're saying that He don't exist. Come on, people. Can you imagine the world that we are living in today? I never know I would live to hear people denounce God, say they don't want Him, and there is no God. Amen. I never know. And guess what? The very same man, my God Almighty, that God has called, that used to be on the pulpit preaching the word, they are one of them that denounce God and say they don't want him. They have some of them. I want to hear what I'm saying. We don't want to do like them, people of God. We have to hold on strong. Hold on strong and don't let go. I'm telling you, I'm sorry for the people them that those that decided that they're going to a backslide because they don't get this and they don't get that. And I'm not staying in, in staying with no church. I'm going back out there. I'm going to this. I'm oh God Almighty, Savior Divine, here and answer God. Help. Help. And let me say this to you all. A person that don't have the power of God activate in them is just like a backslider. I want to hear what I'm saying. You can't feel his presence. Don't invite the Holy Spirit. Don't have the Holy Ghost. Don't have nothing. Don't worship God, don't nothing. Just go to church quiet. Did you know that you have people go, go to church? And as much as they go to church, they don't, they don't even um a song out of their mouth. I want to hear what I'm saying. Yeah. 
They don't carry a Bible. They depend on the screen. And when the screen is running, my God Almighty, they look up on it. And they try to figure out what the craziness am I reading. They just want to know that they can dress up and go to church and come back home. It's like, it's like it's, it, it, it becomes a tradition. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. Yes. Church is like the house of God is tradition for some people. Can you imagine on Christmas or Christmas service full? Everybody crawl out of their old go go go, and go to church on Christmas. Cause it's what a tradition thing. It's not about God. We must make it a God thing, people. It must be about Him. Amen, amen, amen. The fear of him must be up on our life. One of you all get what I'm saying? Yes, 